everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for tuning in. So today we are going to be unboxing and uh, cracking uh, Unstable, so it just got released today. As uh, so those of you that have seen the sort of preview boosters that Wizards kindly gave me will have an idea of what's inside. So, yeah, basically more of the same uh, 36 amazing, uh, crazy boosters. Uh, before we get into that though, I just wanted to give a couple of shout outs to uh, two communities that I've just recently joined um, that are absolutely amazing. The first being uh, Kitchen Table MTG, it's a forum. Uh, links will be in the description down below if you want to check it out. Great group of guys. And uh, also on the app Amino uh, is MTG Multiverse. And yeah, really, really cool uh, group of guys there. Um, some great sort of ideas, content, that kind of stuff going around. So again, links down below, check them out. Right, let's get this wrapper off and yeah, get cracking. So with the wrapper off, I uh, get this nice little cardboard sleeve. It has got some stuff going on inside it. Let's see what that is. Is it a poster? No, it's all kind of rules and stuff about uh, how to basically use the cards, so that's pretty cool. It's got the five factions on it, so the Order of the Widget, Agents of Sneak, League of Dastardly Doom, Goblin Explosioneers, and Crossbreed Labs. So yeah, pretty handy. We'll have a look at that later on. Uh, so we've got just a funky bit of cardboard, and yeah, we've got our boosters right there so yeah what we'll do is we'll start cracking these we'll go through the commons for the first few and then once we get the idea of it we'll just skip through straight to the um, uncommons and uh, res and all the tasty stuff at the back so let's see what we've got in the first one chipper chopper cyborg rigger Hoisted Hireling, a zombie as flying as long as it's being held above the battlefield. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Paniac. We've got our first host creature, a crafty octopus. We're going to put those to one side, actually. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep some of the cool stuff uh, separate. We've got Ground Pounder, Old Guard, Target Minotaur. Uh, it's got Prowess. Cool. Uh, garbage Elemental, so that's the first of our uncommons. We've then got Sneak Dispatcher, Human Spy, and uh, Crocs of the Thumb, a uh, legendary artifact. If you would roll a die, instead roll two and ignore one of those results, so that's our uncommons. Uh, oh, we've got a foil uncommon as well, Steam Flogger Temp. Still not used to the layout of these packs. Uh, and our rare is a Kind Slaver. Legendary Artifact, 5, tap it. Sacrifice Kind Slaver, a person outside the game controls target player during that player's next turn. Neither player may advise that person until the end of that turn. Awesome. And our land is a forest. That is lush. Lovely stuff. Right, let's pop that there. We've got a rare contraption, Goblin Slingshot. And Uncommon 1, Genetic Recombinator. And our token for the pack is a vampire. So yeah, they've got uh, silver bordered ones for use in Unstable. And the black bordered ones are just generally cool uh, tokens from anywhere in Magic. So useful sort of standard ones and stuff like that. And the art on the back, blimey, that is insane. So we'll pop the commons off over there. And yeah, tokens can kind of go there. So there we go, that's the kind of hopefully the pack maintenance that we're going to have. So we'll do a couple of packs, like I say, looking at commons and all the way through it, and then we'll just speed up and go for the go for the tasty bits at the back. So we've got Go to Jail, Big Boa Constrictor, another host creature. It's the Gets Left Hanging, an elemental horror, awesome name, another Chipper Chopper, Adorable Kitten, another host creature, Time Out, Mad Science Fair Project, these are just amazing, it's so much fun. Right, so there's all of our commons, chuck them over there. So, uncommons, we've got Gablin Haberdasher, a clever combo, search your library for a host card, or an augment, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, awesome. 
And yeah, first augments. So we've got a Robo. So that can go there. We've got Uncommons going there. And we've got Rules Liar. So this card is absolutely insane. Uh, State-based actions don't apply to you or other permanents you control. So it's a bit of a powerhouse, but it's just a 1-1. One, one. So that can go into rares. Land is an island. Wow. And then on to contraptions. So we've got a Thud for Duds. And a treadmill. Awesome. Oh, we've got three there. Fair enough. So yeah, we've got a foil thud for duds. And we've got an auto key. And the token is a thopter. And that is amazing. That is going to be going into my Brayer EDH deck straight away. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so I'm not just cracking these for the sake of it, obviously the ideal thing to do with this is to draft it, um, but I am going to be building a cube out of unsets because I've got some unhinged and unglued lying around. So yes, yeah, see what I can come up with with that. Oh, we've got a merman, haven't seen that one before. So that's already sort of augmented, half man, half fish. <laughs> awesome. Uh, willing test subject. Another adorable kitten. A timeout. Amateur Auteur. So those are our commons. It's down over there. And we've got a Druid of Sacred Beaker. It's a deer, bird, ape, druid. Uh, tap it to add green to your mana pool for each crossbreed lab's watermark amongst permanents you control. And that is really fun art. Uh, Knight of the Widget. And we've got a half orc half, so we've got another augment going on there. Uh, uncommons are going there. Uh, rare is a three headed goblin, it's got triple strike, which is awesome. So, first regular and last strike. And land is oh, that's the first swamp that we've opened actually on the channel, and that is lovely. Wow. Then, on to the contraption so, we've got a duplication device, a buzz buggy. And then we've got a token, so we've got a spirit token. And that is the full art side of it. Awesome. So let's see if we can speed this up, guys. I'm sure you don't need me reading out every card title and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see what we can what we can blast through. Common Iguana. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Snickering Squirrel, uh, Squirrel Advisor. So I'm going to point out the really cool ones that I like. Box of Free Range Goblins. Another Augment. Shiver, shiver. Multi Headed. Another Timeout. So the sets I need just over 200 cards, so you are going to see a lot of repeats and things in it. Uh, cracking this many boosters. Midlife Upgrade. <laughs> and uh, Hammerfest Boomtacular. Nice. And then the rare is Earl of Squirrel. Awesome. So it's a shame he's not legendary, so he's not an unmander. Um, but he's uh, got a squirrel link and creature tokens you control as squirrels in addition to other creature types. Other squirrels you control get plus one, plus one. Definitely going to be building something around using him. Uh, we've got Mountain. And then we've got an Arms Depot and a Sapsucker. And a Foil Angel, which would be going into Aurelia. And that is Lush. Who did that? Ah, oh, yeah, it's a Villeneuve. Lovely. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, watching this will have um, be able to get to a, an LGS or something or grab a box to draft with friends. I'll be going down on Sunday to my local store, the Geek Lab, uh, to draft this. Uh, should be really, really good fun. I flick through this feisty stegosaurus and an adorable kitten in the same pack. Awesome. Success. Extremely slow zombie again. Love that he's wearing a Santa hat. That is so cool. Um, so yeah, that's all the commons. Chuck them over there. Goblin haberdasher again. A steel squirrel. Artifact squirrel. <laughs> awesome. And a spy eye. Um, which is a creature type I spy. <laughs> uh, rare is the Grand Calcutron. Uh, so this is a mythic. Awesome. 
Uh, legendary artifact, when it enters the battlefield, each player's hand becomes a program. Uh, it's, so basically everyone reveals their cards in order that they're in their hands. Players can only play the first card of their program, etc, etc. So yeah, that is going to be a lot of fun to use. We've got a planes. And a twiddle stick charger as first contraption. And a top secret tunnel. That is really nice. Love that, that'll look amazing in foil, I reckon. And then, so we've got an untoken, which is a gnome, and on the back is a, a colouring in section for you, if you like. Cool, so how many is that down? Four, four or five done? Sorry, making quite good progress, guys. Bumbling pangolin. Uh, let me know where that creature actually comes from. Uh, looks like some kind of possibly Australian sort of armadillo variant, maybe. Comments down below. Thank you, those. So yeah, there's quite a few um, host creatures, but we're not getting many augments really. Uh, another Mo Man. Beast and Show. Still love that from the preview boosters. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so comments over there. So we've got a lobe lobber. Suspicious Nan here again. And a half shark half, so we've finally got another augment. So it looks like the hosts are commons and the augments are uncommons maybe. Oh, and we've got one of the legendaries as well, Grisilda Monster Masher. Uh, so this is in Rakdos colours. Uh, combined, enchanted and equipped creatures you control have menace. Awesome. Uh, forest. And then we've got a gift horse. Um, yeah, not going to look that in the mouth. And Thud for Duds again. And then we've got a silver bordered construct. That is so cute. It looks a little bit like Howl's Moving Castle, but on a much smaller scale. And then we've got just an advert on the back of that one. Oh, that's a shame that they didn't do the actual unstable ones as, as full art. But yeah, can't have everything, I suppose. Ooh. I'm not actually doing too bad with opening these packs. Normally absolutely horrendous at being able to pull them apart. Common Iguana. Uh, we're not going to separate those out anymore. Um, yeah, it's getting a bit too much. Wild Crocodile. Another success. Oh, a Voracious Vacuum. Haven't seen that one yet. A host Creature Construct. When this creature enters the battlefield and it's got a put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. <laughs> cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was commons. Uncommons then. Knight of the Kitchen Sink. Sweet. Uh, midlife upgrade again. Old Fashioned Vampire. So they can go there. And our rare is a Modular Monstrosity. Lovely. We've got another island. Contraptions, Targeting Rocket, and Dictation Quillograph. Cool. Oh, and we've got a dragon token. So this is from the uh, Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> uh, inspired by the hit magic card. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll actually get that. That was from the um, Hascon preview um, packs that they did. So we've got islands, forest, plains, mountain. Yeah, so we have actually got all of them. I thought we were missing one or two there. Let's keep this ball rolling. Sorry it's taking so long, guys. It's just really fun to read through everything. Uh, dirty rats. So it doesn't look like there's too many beebles in here. Um, just that blurry beeble, maybe. So that's a bit of a shame. Buzzing wackadoodle for the uncommon. Overt operative. Clock of doom. And then rare is over my dead bodies. And then got a swamp. Uh, BB gun. Uh, so this was one of the preview cards uh, that I'd seen uh, that was really fun. Uh, whenever you crank it until the end of turn, target creature gains two. This creature fights another target creature. And yeah, just really good play with words. And a boom flinger. And we've got a scroll token. That flips into an advert there. So yeah, it definitely is the unstable tokens for adverts and the regular black border ones are the ones with the full art on the back. So, face jail, finders keepers. 
still keeping my eyes peeled. Squirrel Dealer, one of my favourites, I think, from the set. It is just so cool. So that is Commons. Going to Uncommon Staff of the Letter Magus. Socketed Sprocketer. <laughs> and we've got a Robo Augment. Cool. And, ooh, very cryptic command. Lovely. Yeah, I was hoping that we'd be able to get one of these. So it's not the alternate art, uh, the original one from uh, Wayne England. Um, but, yeah, still very, very nice. We have got Mountain, a quick stick lick trick, and mandatory friendship shackles. And we've got a goblin token there. The art in this set is absolutely amazing. Really, really like the style of it. So cool. So flick through those commons. I always forget when my common pile's gone. So we've got Druid of the Sacred Beak again. Half Monkey. We've got a side quest. That sounds exciting. Target player in a silver board game you can see from your seat. Gain to control a target creature you control in turn, end of turn. Awesome. Um, and then the rare is a handy dandy clone machine. So we opened one of those uh, the other day from the uh, six boosters that were given to me. So yeah, cool. Uh, planes. Sundering Fork and a division table. And the token is a Brainiac. And... Cool, so that is a join the dots of Urza's head. Lovely, giving him a body. <laughs> right, sorry guys, I know we're taking a long time. Let's try and get the pace rolling on this a bit more. Ah, uh, dirty rat. Another squirrel dealer and shaggy camel. This pack looks like it's a winner. Uh, overt operative, half shark. Clever combo, and we've got a hot fix as our rare. You have 10 seconds to look at and rearrange the cards in your library. So I was just watching the uh, command cast guys uh, go over some of the uncards for Commander, and they tried doing this, and it was hilarious. So check out if you haven't already. And we've got a foil border guardian, lovely. Forest, gold contraption, record store, a widget contraption, and we've got a shiny rogue token which has got a test on the back. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, um, get through those. Oh, that is nice. Haven't seen that art for secret base before, I don't think. Cool. So you can start going over there, that's easier rather than reaching over. Stamp of Approval, Hammer Jammer, Squirrel Powered Scheme, Increase the result of each die you roll by two. Awesome. And we've got a Clock Napper. Um, yeah, so you get to steal someone's, a phase of someone's, and basically do what you like in there. We've got an Island, Lackey Recycler, Inflation Station, and a Storm Crow Token. Awesome. And that has got. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get a Crow Storm uh, actual uh, Storm card in here, uh, so we can use some of those tokens. Uh, self preservation contract. Da -da 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 -da. Really play should play some lift music whilst doing these. Slaying Mantis. Just a second. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't move cards on the battlefield. Awesome. Saves any sort of rearranging for positions to either spread out or group together your cards. We've got a Jack Knight, a Cyborg Knight as our rare. Another Swamp. Another rare contraption, Deadly Poison Sampler and Applied Aeronautics. And we've got a Fairy Spy token which has got all of the different sort of guilds on the back. This feels like an awful lot of boosters, actually, to be fair. So, let's keep flicking through the commons. One more. There we go. Uh, so we've got a Slice Spy. Give me five. High fives are very underrated, I reckon. And a Steam Flogger Service Rep. 
Rare is, oh, it's a rare augment, uh, host, sorry, not augment, a angelic rocket. Cool, so you may destroy target non-land permanent, sweet. Uh, we've got mountain, optical optimizer, buzz buggy, and we've got a goat token, that is lovely, nice. Uh, what is that? Cool, just another advert, but awesome. Right, coming to the end of the first half, guys. So, hopefully you're enjoying this and enjoying all of the lovely, crazy cards that are going on here. Another Gimme 5. Oh, yes! We have got a Sword of Dungeons & Dragons. So, Crit Creature gets plus 2, plus 2 and has protection from rogues and clerics. Whenever a Crit Creature deals combat damage to a player, uh, create the 4-4 Gold Dragon Creature Token with flying. Roll a d20, and if you roll a 20, do that again. Love it. So, yeah, that is a mythic. Fab. So, we've got a Planes, we've got a Headbanger and an Auto Key as the two contraptions. I didn't realise that we had clue tokens in here. That is fab. And then what's the... Oh, wow. Yeah, that is lush. Blimey. Oh, I don't know if I like the fact that they're foil or the full art. Hmm, that's a really tough decision, actually. I hadn't thought about that before. Yeah, have to have a think on that. It's just a shame that um, clues are rotated out as standard. Uh, steady handed mook. Keep one in the same monk. Uh, eager beaver. <laughs> so, uncommons, so we've got a slaying mantis, a steel squirrel again, and a party crasher, and the rare is X, so another one of the legendaries. Uh, so, this is a human spy. As long as X is in X's owner's opponent's. That's too complicated. Basically, it does cool stuff. It infiltrates your opponent's hand, etc. And then you can play stuff out of it. Uh, we've got a forest. Hypnotic swirly disc, which is fantastic art. <laughs> Gnome ball machine. And we've got an elemental. So, yeah. Sweet. So, penultimate pack from this side of it, guys. Hopefully, you haven't all fallen asleep during this. I'm actually loving it. I can't believe how good this set is. It's just funny, original. Um, yeah, really, really good looking. For a magic card, that is. There you go. So we've got Low Blobber again. We've got the Crow Storm. Awesome. So it's a sorcery, and you create a Storm Crow, and then it's got a Storm. And um, we've got a Hydra Doodle. Lovely. And Island. Twiddle stick charger, top secret tunnel again, and a sapling token. So let's flip that over. Really nice. Not sure if I've got any decks that need sapling tokens, so there might need to be one made. <laughs> this is always a problem with new sets, you end up with so many ideas uh, if you're anything like me. Uh, so let's flick through those. Another secret base, cool. Uh, Inhumaniac, Shelephant, uh, it's a turtle and or elephant, cool. And Rhino Augment, and then the rare is the big idea. Oh, pack pile maintenance is going out the window here, and we've got a guest list, and an auto key again, and we've got a beast token. Sweet. Looks really, really good. Haven't been getting too many of the Silver Border tokens, to be honest. And, yeah, there haven't been too many foils outside of that either. I think we've pulled two foils so far. Really hoping, obviously, for a foil land. That would just be sweet. But, yeah, not holding my breath for that. Uh, the other card that I really would like to pull would be uh, Phoebe, Head of Sneak. Uh, yeah, so just so as one of the legendary creatures, just for more um, unmander building. Buzzing Wackadoodle from Commons, Overt Operative, and another Half Shark. And then we've got a Hot Fix. I think we saw, yeah, we did see that earlier. I talked about the Command Cast guys. We've got a Forest, Headbanger, and a Bloomfinger 
boom flinger again and we've got a gnome token yep and it's the same one with the colouring in on the back right we're building up speed guys because we've just gone over the 20 minute mark so thanks for bearing with hopefully you are not snoozing away flip through those Okay, Border Guardian, Sneak Dispatcher, Spy Eye again, and uh, we've got a handy dandy clone machine. Not so handy dandy when it crops up so much, but oh well. We've got a dual Doom Suits, haven't seen that contraption yet, and a Thud for Dads. I think we've got a couple of those, but it's uncommon. And we've got that lovely construct token again. So, do any of you guys remember, uh, were you guys playing Magic back in the day when sort of unglued and unhinged were around? I was, uh, I can't remember which one it was for, it was possibly for both of them, but yeah, they, we weren't really big into it, we were kids, and we picked up a few packs and things just to play around with. It was mostly because they were cheaper than uh, regular packs of Magic, so yeah, that always helped with spending dinner money on cards instead of food. Uh, Mario Kill, uh, another legendary creature, human villain. Uh, switch a kill bot or Mario Kill in your hand with one on the battlefield. Awesome. Haven't noticed any kill bots actually. Have to watch out for those from now on. Uh, we got the swamp, quick stick lick trick again, Nauta Key, and another one of those dragons. Um, so, yes, yeah, sadly, uh, didn't grab too much of it. Like I say, we sort of. Just starting secondary school, I think, when the first one came out. And yeah, didn't really pay any attention, weren't aware of sort of market value of the lands and things like that. Uh, as with all things, uh, it would be nice to have a time machine, but oh well, not gonna complain. So we've got Rules Lawyer Mountain. We've got a rare modular monstrosity in foil. Nice. Oaken Power Suit, that card is so cool. The artwork of the little squirrels inside there. Top Secret Tunnel again, and another squirrel token. Uh, get through the commons. Getting faster at each pack. Uh, uncommons as well, we've pretty much seen all of those by now. Cramped Bunker, haven't seen that one yet. Nice. Uh, planes, accessories to murder, dictation quilograph, and the goblin token. So at this point, I think we're just going to quickly run through them, check what the rare is to see if that's anything new, see if there's any foils, etc. And yeah, that should just about do it. I realise that we're getting on a bit in time. Rare is another very cryptic command. Nice. Uh, forest, oh, we've got a foil contraption, inflation station. That is lush. Genetic recombinator, mandatory friendship shackles, they go over there, and brainiac token. So I don't think we're going to get the video in under 30 minutes, but it might be close, guys. Let's see if we can, like a good challenge. So that's all the comments. And commons, and we've got a better than one. Uh, sorcery, a person outside the game becomes your teammate, so then you split everything in half. Cool, we've got island, rapid prototyper, haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. And a rogue. Oh, my pack opening skills are going downhill. You'd think they'd get better as we did more packs, but no, the reverse is true, and those were well and truly trapped in there. And the rare is another kind slaver. Cool. We've got a swamp, a targeting rocket, and applied aeronautics, and another crow storm, storm crow. So it looks like we've got about eight packs left to go. So yeah, definitely not going to be under half an hour, guys. So if you had things to do, T to eat, people to see. Um, but yeah, that's the cards that we've been dealt. Uh, another clock napper. Mountain, 
duplication device, division table, and fairy spy token. It's getting time is running out for pulling um, a Phoebe, but you never know, it might be in the back of one of these packs. A uh, lab robot, don't think we've seen that one actually, host creature hound. And the rare is the big idea, Brainiac Villain. So that's a new one as well. Cool. Oh, that's a legendary creature actually as well. So it's actually a Rakdos general because of the split cost in the ability down there. We've got planes, dog snail engine, sap sucker, and another goat. So I'm already on the way to building a goat um, deck. It's a modern deck with goats and sheep and horses in it. It's a bit of a farmyard feel deck. Uh, one day there might be a deck tuck up on the channel about that, but if you want to drop a comment down below or hit me up on my other social media, then I'm sure I can let you in on what I'm doing with that. So we've got a foil adorable kitten. And yeah, it doesn't let the name down. Sweet. And an old oh, Buzzbark, so that's another legendary from the set. So we must get all of them, hopefully. Uh, forest, Treadmill, Boom Flinger, and another clue. So yeah, I wonder how many legendaries there are in the set. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I think there's ten, possibly. Uh, one for each colour and then each um, of the guilds. That sounds about right, but probably just making up facts. Fake news. Uh, so we've got a Contraption Cannon, Overt Operative, Zombified, and a Hangman. So there's that one. Ironing goes there, those go there, and that lovely Elemental Token again. So we're coming up to the end. There's the commons, there's the uncommons, and we've got, oh, it's a full uncommon catching me out there in Humaniac. And we've got an over my dead bodies again for the rare. Swamp, nice two contraptions, and the sapling token. So how many packs have we got left? One, two, three, four, five packs it looks like. That one's trying to escape down the back. So... <laughs> I can't help laughing at some of the names. And we've got another Earl of Squirrel though. That is cool um, because it's not legendary. Yeah, more the merrier for the Earls. Uh, mountain. Contraptions over there and Beast Token. That sounded a little bit like the Indian Jones theme music. Teacher's Pet, I haven't seen that one yet either. Catbird Scientist with an angler fish inside a test tube or something. Spy Eye and the rare is a water market. Cool. Uh, I think that was the art that I'd opened the other day actually, but yeah, still really, really nice. Got Island, another record store, Sundering Fork and Vampire. So how many's left? So we've got two packs left after this, guys. Flick through all of those. Super Deep Death Ray, Steam Powered, Shell of Fans. Oh, and we've got an Urza. Wow. So this is, I believe, the only Planeswalker in the deck. Uh, it's uh, all colours. And you have to go to that website and click on one of those options. And it basically gives you a randomly generated... Planeswalker ability for any of the other Planeswalkers um, that have been made so far. I don't know whether they're going to keep updating it with new ones or not. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Elemental Token. I don't think we've had this so far. That looks badass in foil. And if we flip... Wow. Yeah, that is seriously, seriously cool. Blimey. So, penultimate pack. Here we go, guys. And the countdown is on. What is this going to bring us? 
that's all the commons done. Steam Flogger service wrap again, and we've got another Grisilda Monster Masher. Uh, we've got a Forest Headbanger Sapsucker and a Zombie Token. Don't think we'd seen the Zombie Token before either. That's cool. Getting a few new things right at the end. Love that. Makes it worthwhile sticking right through. And then final pack, guys. Come on, we can do it. Let's get that head of sneak. Uh, so we've got a stamp of approval. Another crow storm. We've got a five finger discount. I haven't seen that one either. That's a new one for the last pack. And no. Steam Flogger of the Month though, haven't seen that one, that's really cool, it's another Goblin Rigger, so you assemble a contraption for each contraption you control. We've got a Swamp, Nine Ball Machine, Dictation, Quillograph, and we have another one of those Lush Thopters. Sweet, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching that, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking through right to the end. Uh, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Really means a lot. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.